Okay, the very first step um, on any portrait is for me to go in and smush just about every pixel. <laughs> so I'm going to, I've been working on this one for a little while. I'm going to blow up. Ooh, that's a little bit too much. Okay. And show you, um, you can kind of tell where I've smushed and where I haven't been smushing. I use the smudge tool and I have it at a strength at 80% and I have selected sample all layers and I just kind of go in and soften all the pixels by smushing around. And I can choose different size brushes if I want to. Um, and depending on the strength that I set this at and the size brush, I'll get different effects and um, different a different level. Like right now, I'm going at 80%. If I take that strength down, let's say I take it down to 38%, then it's not going to, you're hardly going to see what, you know, the smushing. And again, the size of the brush, I was at 14, and now I'm taking it up to like 59 um, as the size of the brush. And so I've got a huge brush, but I'm not, I don't have it very strong. So let me bring the strength back up to 80 and what this does is it just, it, it moves the pixels around, it softens them, it blends them together. I'm going to turn off the photograph layer and zoom out. And you'll get to see just how much of this I've covered. And I do this a lot. I'll turn off and I'm like, well, what have I not dealt with yet? Well, I haven't dealt with the eyes much, haven't hardly touched those. I still have part of the snout to do, um, all the yellow in the chest. Um, and you can see, you know, 24 is a nice size brush. I like to use that a lot. And you can see where the photographic texture still remains and where the soft smushing has happened. So I will do this and do this until I have it covered. And then once that's done, I'll merge my smudged layer down on top of my photograph and I'll probably add a filter possibly dry brush and then I'll smudge some more and paint some more and I'm using the smudge tool without finger painting turned on I'll go ahead and turn on finger painting right now and turn it up to like 98 percent with finger painting on you do the same thing except you use your swatches and you pick a color and you will be smushing with color on your brush and as you can see here, I'm bringing in some yellow. I can pick some of this gray that's already down here on the nose. And now I'm, I'm basically finger painting. And you can take your eraser and your eraser tool and take it down in opacity. And so while you're working, if you've got, if you're finger painting and you get too hard a line with what you're doing like let's let me do some black well that's way too hard but maybe I want a little of it you know oh I did that with a not with finger painting but with a brush no wonder it was too hard um, but now I can erase that but let's say I'm kind of I'm working it I'm finger painting I kind of like some of that but it's too strong but I don't want to lose it all I take that eraser set to low opacity and I just kind of daub at that and I take off some of that but not all of it and so this is kind of how I will work I will work with paint on my brush and then I will go in and I'll take the paint off the brush and I'll just smush what's there it's a very very time-consuming back and forth thing and you want every single um, pixel pretty much in the photograph to eventually get smushed so I don't really always worry about people copying what I'm doing and I don't mind sharing my technique because everybody's going to have a different approach to it and the way I work is very time consuming <laughs> and I don't really worry about that many people wanting to um, work this way because it takes a long time <laughs> most people just really want to go in and throw some filters around and get something quick um, the way I'm working it's it's not quick so I don't really worry about sharing it because I seriously 
I'm Rebecca Collins and thanks for watching this tutorial. I do offer courses in Photoshop so if you're interested in that you can contact me through my website artpaw.com. I offer courses online and also through the Dallas Creative Arts Center.